Hi, here is Michael Mark. Today I would like to share with you about probably a Cambodian. She is the single mother, so she try to getting barrels for her life because over there is no job available and for life and her son really hard. Her name is Chan Lee and she is 25 years old. She has one son. Her son named Kenna, just six years old. She is a single mother and she window too because after she got married and she's pregnant and her husband uh, go to work every day but one day after her husband got off from work so he got the accident and caused to death five years ago for sure right now she's still young but uh, she really poor and like no job around and she had to stay home and take care of her son too because nobody take care he's just six years old and right now uh, really need medical care and medical attention and he has diarrhea and fevers and he cannot get up but she got little money and over to Cambodian they have the doctor you can hide them and calling them because from their home and they come to her home and then give him some like medication and she can go to buy from uh, the store the pharmacy but he is still not feeling better and that time Bouwet and Boutak went to do his charity work he just make his trip across all over the country in Cambodia to help all the poverty people and you already see her father got 11 children and she is the one of from her father too Puvert and Puthak already interviewed him his name is Chuck after her husband died by accident so she got a little business like she's selling the canned food and her business going very well but after that her son getting sick she had to spend those money for his medical care we need medical attention to take care of her son and her house had a tin roof and tin wall need to be repaired too the only way she loaned the money from someone about two thousand dollars one part is to build her business back and the other part to repair her house Her house about seven meter wide and by eight meter long. And right now she tried to get some money to run her local business again. Because like she can sell uh, the street food she can sell like grocery but at Cambodia uh, same thing like flea market but you can sell it at home too well or you got bicycle you can get the basket and ride the bicycle 
to really to really and sell whatever you have kind of vegetable and grocery and meat or especially you get a lot of fish. But right now she's so broke and she needs some money to start and how much she's going to need. It's normally start with $100 equal like 40,000 real in Cambodia or $200 to start with small business. But she better start with a small first because if she earn the profit or not, it have some gap to start over again. If she start biggest, like the $500, $1,000, though it's not gain, those money gonna be gone again. She better start it small. She have to find out for sure what business she need to start and to make sure that business start small and can earn some a little profit and to make her life better and get our poverty uh, life. But right now, she cannot work, so she survived by her parents. Only give her some food to eat with her son. And sometimes she just uh, go to work, you know, for part time, like they need the people to work for one day or two days, but she only can earn 4,000 real or 5,000 real. 4,000 equal one dollar. 5,000 real equals a dollar 25 cent. You know how poor it is, and people mostly earn less than two dollars a day. Some people earning like a few day only a dollar twenty five cent or a dollar seventy five cent. The homes it built about two thousand dollar to spend. And the size of this house seven by eight meters. This home size in Cambodian is the big home, but mostly it's very small, a three by three. Yeah. But this one, like seven by eight, it's the big house. And the house support start from the bottom, you know, from the water to the house is supported by the concrete pole. And she plans she want to take her son go to school, but she didn't even have time. Otherwise, she didn't have money to send her kid go to school. And then because she have to have some time to earn something too, but when she take the kid go to school, she have to spend some money too for her kid, like. 4,000 real equal one dollar a day or 2,000 real something, you know, but uh, mostly the kid go to school at Cambodia, they spend 1,000 real at 25 cents a day. You know how is her condition, even one dollar or a quarter a day, it's hardly to earn it to find somewhere because it's no job available, any job in the local job is not only in the factory, but with mostly the job is everywhere, like when they need it, okay, like uh, the harvest, the right, they just call her and let her have some work. After finish it, she have no more work. And like in the digging the dirt to do something, you just call her, she can dig the dirt, couple of days, finish, and no more job. You know, it's just a poor report time job. It's not exactly like in the United States.
but this area is mostly it's a fishermen fishing for living and she going to looking for the good business to start but especially she didn't have any money to start but uh, Putak and Puvut just give her some idea and they will post this video and probably some uh, general people donate and to help her to start her life. ដាច់អីយើងដាក់នឹងហើយបើសិនហ្នឹងតំបន់យើងធម្មតាបើតាមខ្ញុំសង្កេតមើលតំបន់យើងជាអ្នកនេសាទៅណាអ្នកនេស